Hey y'all, thank you for coming back to my channel, Deb Schnell's 48's World. Guys, family, did y'all know on them social media streets, they are saying that Kenya Moore and her husband, Mark Daly, allegedly has reconciled. Do you believe it? Do you believe the hype, baby? Well, I'm going to tell you, you know I think it's fake, fraudulent, fuckery, and foolishness going on. That's what I believe, okay? I'm just letting you know from my mouth to your ears, okay? That's what I think is going on. Fooler, foolery, foolishness, fuckery, and fraudulent behavior is going on, okay? But I get the salacious story from popularsuperstars.com. Don't know how reputable their site is, okay? I really don't know. It's just me giving it to you because I got it on my social media feed. And you know I had to run right on over here to this YouTube channel. Call y'all in by putting my video out, notifying you all. I just dropped another video. And it's time for y'all to come on over to the house and get down with me with this conversation, okay? Because that's hot knowledge. That's hot tea, okay? It's hot. It's burning. It's just burning me up inside. And I just wanted to let y'all know, honey, I don't believe this crap. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I think they're just trying to put more stories out there on Kenya so she can blow up on them social media streets and make herself look real good when it's coming down for negotiation time and they have to up the ante and putting her pay scale up a lot more than what she got called back for for season 12, okay? That's what I think. And that's where I'm going with it until somebody tell me different. All right? So, like I said... The information comes from PopularSuperstars.com. Go over there to their website. Check out all their little stories they're bringing out that I don't probably bring out on my channel because they're just not interesting to me. Uh, they don't tickle my fancy where I can come in and talk to you all about it. Uh, I'm kind of adjusting the screen to uh, get it to fit in the format if y'all are wondering. You know why the screen is kind of moving there. But uh, yeah honey. Uh, Rosie Lawrence. A uh, journalist or a correspondent over there. At PopularSuperstars.com She wrote as a title for her article. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore. And husband Mark Daly. Reconcile. This is an exclusive. That's what they say y'all. So y'all know I had to run to y'all and tell y'all, come on, let's talk about this situation. Let's talk about this subject. Let me know what y'all think about it in them comments. Do y'all think it's true that they reconcile or do you don't think so? Now, I was just so surprised I had to read this without you guys. I read what I wanted to read and then I scrolled down to some video that they got attached to this as well. But it's on Kenya Moore's page if you want to go see it. Baby Brooklyn's all over playing, you know, with her daddy. It seems like he's in a hotel. Now, that's one red flag right there. Why are you in a hotel, Mark, when you stay in New York, right? Right? Shouldn't you be at your condo, your apartment, your house, whatever you have up there in New York? And Kenya should be there with you. Why are y'all at a, 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 a um, hotel? So that's one uh, way I'm looking at this story is very fraudulently and fake and full of fuckery and foolishness. Okay? Because you're not going to tell me you up there in New York, you don't have your own place. And can you just have to come and stay in hotels all the time? No, no, no. Okay, but we're going to go on and get into this article real quick, fast, in a hurry. Um, it says, close friends of Kenya have now confirmed that Kenya and Mark, who have been married for two years, are no longer separated. They got married quickly, and then they immediately had a baby. It was a lot. But they both love each other and are trying to make it work, the source confirmed. Now, I don't know how they're going to try to make it work unless Mark going to come on out and say he's going to be on television with Kenya filming all these Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, stories. And it don't seem like he wanted to do that. But, hey, what can we say? What can we say? I don't know. Maybe he needs some of her money. That's on my part, not in this article. 
But going back to the article, it says the biggest highlight of season 12 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta was Kenya Moore and Mark Daly's divorce. And now the season is coming to an end and we are hearing that the couple is talking about making the relationship work. Mm, how convenient is that? How convenient is that to set a whole storyline up as fake and fraudulent? Okay, to get you ratings and get you bumped up. So you can be looked at as the HBIC queen, I guess. I don't know. But that's pretty bad to be playing this game with your fans, can you? Your fans look up to you. They think you're doing the right thing all the time, all day, every day. And you would never lie to them and deceive them. But if this was a storyline that you played up and you and Mark allegedly were still married and having good times together, then how are your fans going to look at you, can you? How are they going to look at you, girl? Fake frauds and foolish foolishness and full of fuckery? I'm just saying. I want to know. But anyway, uh, from what Popular Superstar says, they have receipts. Yep, it's stating. Uh, and we have receipts to prove that they are back together. Now, I know they ain't talking about that video they showed. Now, they may be talking about that video I told you all about. Going over to her um page i don't know if it's on baby brooklyn's page or it's on kenya moore's page but baby brooklyn's running around with some almost half empty um bottles of um a lotion and her daddy is laying on a hotel bed and you can see somebody's luggage is on the floor and both of them make money so i don't know why they're in the hotel when they could be in his house apartment condo whatever he got that he's living in okay but she running around there having fun with her dad laying on the bed and uh she run around there with empty uh almost empty uh lotion bottles and stuff cute scene uh but you know i couldn't put it on my page because i don't want to get any copyright strikes but um let me see it goes on to say season 12 of the real housewives of atlanta had a lot of drama and one of the biggest subjects on the show was kenya moore's marriage problems with her husband mark daly okay even after the separation and filing for a divorce kenya always said that she still loved mark but that's another thing right there because you gotta actually be married to be able to go and divorce someone and as we all know we don't really think some of us believe kenya was ever married so that's why something may have been filed or may not have been filed they just probably told us that but it is what it is you know what i'm saying we would definitely keep tuned and stay tuned to the unfolding results that would come out okay going back to the article it says close friends of kenya and co actors of the show hinted numerous times that kenya and mark would get back together eventually and indeed the pair is back together all right now, I hope they ain't saying they back together because they up in the hotel room together, okay? Then they all together, true enough, but that ain't together we talking about. Um, let me see. Going back to the last part of the article, it says, And Kenya Moore's little daughter, Brooklyn Doors Daily, herself confirmed that mommy and daddy are back together. And it shows a video, like I was saying, shared on Brooklyn's Instagram page. So, y'all have to go to uh, Baby Brooklyn's Instagram page and then you will see it. Or if you go to Popular Superstars, they had it embedded it into this article that I'm reading from. And you can see her little cute self running around now playing with her daddy. Okay, but it also goes on to include the article that the uh, journalist wrote on this particular piece. Sources confirmed that Kenya, Mark, and Brooklyn had a nice family time at a hotel in New York over the weekend, and they are ready to work on their marriage. Now, again, like I said, if you're trying to call yourself getting back with someone, why didn't Mark have her come stay at his apartment or home or condo? Why did they... Why did he have to have Kenya up in a hotel? That's so impersonal. That's so un... I don't know what it called marriage like. That you're trying to get somebody back. But you ain't having them in the home. That they once uh, shared with you. Prior, uh, prior to y'all separating. So I don't know guys. Y'all get in those comments and say. Is this a fake story? Is this a fraudulent story? fraudulent story they trying to put out on us or could it be the real deal they could be reconciled what y'all think i say no no you can't fool me like that 
Okay, but what do y'all say? That's what I'm waiting on. So when y'all see this video, y'all view it in your entirety. Y'all go and watch the uh, video on Baby Brooklyn's um, website, Instagram account. Then y'all come back, comment. Let me know what y'all thought about it. Because I think it's just fake fraudulent foolish, foolishness and fuckery going on. I think they're trying to still drive those ratings so she can have a good table at the seat and negotiate her contract when it comes to season 13. Now... That's what I'll leave you guys with. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.